Hello, my friends, what's going on? You are looking at a man in the midst of despair, the trough of happiness, the pits, the bottom of the barrel. It's pretty hard being free to play in season of Congress and pretty frustrating. I'll share why after these messages. It wasn't so much messages, but um, a nice little stream intro. Anyway, I've turned the volume up this time on the mic, so this is the loudest it can possibly be. I'm sitting far back because my back hurts because I'm old. Old and grey, sadly. Right, so what's happened since we've started? So we're currently in day... This is day five of Season of Conquest. You know what? I'm going to level with you. I thought I'd shit it. I thought I'd get right in. Everything would be a piece of piss, and I'd be sitting there going, what's the big deal? I'm already max tech. It hasn't quite worked out like that. What have we done there? Well, we got more than gems, and I thought for once I'll use my brain. So instead of just doing anything needless, I bought some master's blueprints to upgrade all these things. What else is going on? We've been doing, you know, the past glory thing. We finally got to stage three. I think we've done it very quickly, so everything's going well. We've got 20 gold heads. Put those 20 gold heads in old Yuge Liang, who is now 5551 and probably going to stay there for the foreseeable. Right, so that's the good stuff. The bad stuff. Do you know how hard it is to chain as free to play? Right. There's a few reasons why this is, as I explore the fog on the map that I was assured would be rid of fog, but alas, KVK4 is perceived differently to the, the heroic anthems afterwards, so alas, we have more fog. So, as a free to play player, you start KVK4 with, I think, about 1.6 million, maybe 2 million crystals, whereas usually, in KVK5 onwards, as long as you've done all right, the last time you start with about four, maybe five, six million crystals. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but allow me to tell you that the most important bit of the free to play Season of Conquest crystal grind is the beginning. And I'll show you why. This is where I am at the moment. So as I said, with five days in, I'm here in honor, so I'm, I'm, I've grinded a lot. I really have grinded a lot. I've only got two grinding marches, which has become apparent, so I've killed at least. 1600 barbarians which doesn't sound like a lot but when you do it with two marches you die with an alarming regularity trust me it's a lot where am i going with this now i'll tell you where i'm going with this i'm going to give and receive there we go so i spent 7.75 million crystals now the bulk of them hasn't come from chaining actually and this is this has taught me something quite interesting is that chaining while very important i mean if you look at my reports you'll see all I've been doing all day is chaining, but now let's look at this one. Look at, let's look at this one. So for each barbarian we kill, say on average we get 420 crystals. So if we kill 18, let's say it's two for each one, that's 36, 36 times 400, about seven, 16 and a half thousand crystals. Okay, so this whole chain got me 16 and a half thousand crystals that use some AP, but who cares, I've got loads of AP and I've just chain, chain, chain. So I assumed that would be the best way to get to them, but I'm learning. I'm learning the best way to do it is to just click here, press the refresh button all day long, and I'm talking literally all day long. It's now 6 p.m. and I've only had 12 quests. Ignore absolutely anything. If, in, apart from the Barbarian one and the rune grind, the collect three runes, you get quite a few crystals for that. Aside from that, you ignore absolutely anything that doesn't have this little Kararak whistle. Kararak's, oh, Kahar, there we go. Kahar's bone whistle. The reason being, once you blow that, you summon a Kahar. If you grind them around the city, you can even save AP. That gives you 45,000 crystals. Usually I'm not too fussed about it because I've got my economy going, everything's going well, and I'm not doing free-to-play season of conquest. I haven't got the economy going yet, so all these 45,000 crystals, I just spend all day resetting, 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 making sure I can get Chris, uh, get the Kahar's Bone Whistle from absolutely everything. I've also learned it's very important to not do what I did here and just go six in the first one, then six in the second. You've got to make sure that they all go up gradually together. The reason for this, when you're a lowly stinking free-to-play like myself, where is it? Really, where is it? the nice little favor but things here it's pretty staty you get 1.5 percent each level so you'd be forgiven for thinking well i may as well just go to level six the difference being the amount of favor required to go to level six is a lot more than the favor required to get everyone else to level three so if you get getting one commander to level six you can probably get three or four commanders to level three 
which gives you more favor which uh, and greater crystal mine work speed so not being able to buy anything means of course we can't buy the crystal supply so our crystal mine is working at 31.5 percent over time usually it'll be 81.5 percent over time here which would be a huge boost it's not so by similar logic the economy is so slow the economy of crystals so our caroacs providing less than 2k an hour so over the course of a day without any grinding whatsoever without any kaha we get 250k from this and from kaha 2000 times 24 50k so we get less than 300,000 a day from this Ooh, it's painful at the moment i've done all i can do on the economy tree just rush my plan was to rush to plunder two still is that but to get to marching orders one you need swift marching three which requires all these dependencies so i'm slowly emphasis on slowly finishing quench blades improved projectiles and then maybe we can start to pick up the pace a bit the beauty of paying for crystal tech like from the obvious damage to the bank balance is you get that economy up and running so quickly and if you've seen on i mean let's quickly go to my main account which is very high on crystals now excuse my relaxation right here we go we signed in this probably about an hour ago because i quickly that heals some things uh so let's see in the hour yeah we've got thirty-seven thousand crystals what's the the mine speed here is 250 percent times there we go it's been two hours since i signed in and got that many crystals presumably the same for Kararak as well oh, i need to finish that <clears throat> there we go 113k for that so i mean obviously we're talking different levels here this one's put a fair amount of money into crystal tech well just the pop-ups actually but you know i've grinded a lot on this but my point being without that initial start which being free to play you cannot get the you really struggle and it's been a lot more of a struggle than i thought i was just working out there i'd say i've done 1600 barb that's probably about 450,000 crystals when you consider i spent less than 8 million that's well, it's like seven five six seven percent of my crystals has come from chaining barbarians so whilst i've spent all the time and i've really spent a lot of time grinding barbarians the the phrase the juice isn't worth the squeeze i've just watched uh the girl next door because obviously i can't grind barbarians without watching tv at the same time as i die of boredom feels quite appropriate here nevertheless i want to see how many how close we can get we're not going to get max tech i'm aware of that but i want to see how much tech i can get just by doing this grinding process and as i said the bastions seem to be the way forward they certainly are a lot more that's why i'm doing the third now to get them all up to level four they certainly seem to be a lot more rewarding so crash one no no whistle so i just ignore it anyway in terms of barbarians it was also a huge struggle to grind them at first we've now got the 40 percent all damage bonus which is huge it means the grinding is actually not too bad the two marches i'm using are Duge Herman with something on. And if we can find any more, two or more. Two. The one that actually is able to grind quite well now with a 40%. Whoa, YSG. In fact, you'll notice I was struggling so much with the grinding early on before we got the 40% that I, I crafted and crit the Savage Totem just to have something just to have something to help me out but the extra 13 percent maybe it's not much but you know it helped me out a bit it helped to give me a bit more sustain so yeah it felt like we were locked in a vicious cycle where we needed more um more crystal so i could get more tech so that my barbarian marches could stay alive for longer and be able to chain more barbs but of course to get more crystals we need to grind more barbarians so it felt a bit cash 22 we were locked in a vicious circle anyway my here we go five my five day review of kvk4 and specifically kvk4 not the later ones as free to play because here we start with fewer crystals is bloody difficult it's bloody difficult again i only have two chaining marches i only got two aoe commanders i might try and beg the kingdom to let me have 10 oraculous heads in the leadership mgr but then again we'll get the imp commander won't we so i dead right, i'll try and get like 16 to 20 16th to 20th so that i can get five heraclius heads and do it over two mg heraclius 
even at 1111, is a AoE commander. I was planning on using Richard, and I did try with him initially, but where is he? Where's Big Dicky? Here we go, Big Dick over here. 1111. Yeah, wasn't good enough, unsurprisingly, right? I, I don't know what the minimum is to get Richard into a chaining commander. Probably looking at the healing factor, it needs to be 3 at one. I mean, when I get Heraclius, because I do fully intend to get him, I probably will skill Richard up. It just feels painful. The thought of putting gold heads into Richard at this point of the game feels very painful. Anyway, our first fights are on Wednesday. It's Sunday now, so we've still got some time. I can still hopefully double my crystals by then, because the further you get in, the more the snowball effect takes over and the more crystals you get, the initial outlay. I'm hoping that in terms of where everyone is at the moment, we are pretty much crushing everything. Coalition-wise, we're miles ahead. Camp-wise, we're miles ahead. And the occupation doesn't matter. Of course, honor doesn't correlate with battle strength. Usually is a good indication of activity. When our, our activity is good, we have a very strong kingdom, as I've been through several times, but we will see how this plays out when the first battle starts. For our first battle, we're going to be fighting for zone 5 against 89, 5, and 7. 89 is really, really strong. I've been looking through them, and I, I know anecdotally they're really strong. They also have one of the... This is one of the most mental same-season account players I've ever seen. Big Gar here. I, I genuinely assumed I'd read the number wrong, but no, 166, 225, 235. It's same season account with 126 million power okay that's cool but five billion kill points he's only got 12 and a half million deads meaning that man has used a ton of speed up especially here okay he lost seven million in a kvk it's a lot but still 200 million that's mad so they're going to be strong adversaries 89 five from what i remember are pretty good played against them in kvk2 and then they joined our side i can't be their main alliance is it? I'm assuming that's not their main alliance. Their main alliance is hidden here somewhere. Uh, but five, I remember being pretty good. And we're also against seven. And they're a complete piece of shit. So <laughs> don't worry too much about that. We know what their battle strength is from KVK2. So I in no way worry about fighting five. Uh, about fighting seven. 89 will be really strong, I imagine. Five could be seven. They could turn up. They could not. Depends if it's Mightiest Governor events, that'll be interesting. But I, I would say we're strong favourites for that zone, especially if I turn up with my 8 million crystal tech rocking it out, showing everyone how to do it. That'd be on Wednesday, I'll most probably stream that. I'm sure we'll have some bigger boys in my kingdom, Mad Achilles and whatnot, streaming that as well. Just before I go, I want to show you the most mental stat I have seen. Where is he? Where's Mr. Mad Achilles? Mad Achilles got his own channel, does loads of streaming, just a really good guy. And uh, not only is he a really good guy, his most unit killed almost 500 million. His most units lost 3.5. So imagine the number. Like he's used a zenith worth of healing speed ups just in that one KVK. I can't see anyone else other than him being the top kill person in this KVK based on that. Based on that, based on the fact he's in what's going to be a strong fighting kingdom against 08 to a strong fighting kingdom, we're going to have the Zone 7, or whatever it's called, the past 7 fight, the main crux of Heroic Anthem, will be against the 08 camp. This one's kind of a, an appetizer. Wets the appetite, but it doesn't really prove much. Whereas this one, this one's the huge fight where everyone blankets the zone fully with flags, hopes for the best, hopes that the opponents can't fort drop and stop them connecting to King's Land. Usually it's just three days of this fort going back and forth and people being rallied off territory, but you never know. It could be a little bit more than that this time. I age are strong though. Even if their camp mates, well, 16 and 17. 17 is pretty good. So that could be interesting. Uh, that'll be the main that'll be the main battle, I think, of this KVK. See what happens there. Obviously, I put my money on us. Put my money on the opponent's last KVK and I was proven right. So I've got a good good record so far. I would say my prediction is we we look to be in a favorable position, but we've got a I, I always use the Lost Canyon leaderboard as a good sign here. And 17, 8, 17, 5, 5, 16, 7, 8. Top 10 is pretty much made up of our enemies. So that says a lot about the strength of certain accounts that have been dropped into these kingdoms. So it will be interesting to see that 
even though I, I may blithely say we have a lot of power and a lot of chance, we've got to fully admit that the garrison and rally leads in the other kingdoms look absolutely excellent. So anyone's game. The trite football cliche. Right, I'm going to go on grinding barbarians, hoping my pointless season of conquest existence lasts a little bit shorter. No, I'm enjoying getting away. It is a real grind, but I feel you feel fulfilled when you actually get to the next level of research and whatnot. I've got about 300k till I can start looking at the crystal um, the crystal economy tech again. It feels a long way away, but with a couple more good bastions, I've got three today. If I can get three more whistles, that's 135k gems. Or crystals, I always get them too confused. So I'll be able to do something with that. Hopefully by tomorrow, start improving the crystal economy. And from there, see how many crystals we can get. I'll be curious how many crystals I actually end up on. I think probably about 60 million is my prediction. I'm going on holiday next Sunday, which doesn't help because I'm not sure if I'm going to have Wi-Fi on the boat we're on. So it could be a little bit of a test you on that. We will see exactly how that works. Hey, you know, free holiday with free drink all week. <laughs> even, if, even if I'm on Wi-Fi, it might be best to ignore a rock. I'm zero my city. Freaking embarrassing. Right, well, there we are for today. I'm going to carry on. One final remark. Your gold goes down pretty quickly. The stuff you get from barbarians is not worth in terms of uh, resource. It's not, you don't get as many resources as you expend to kill them. You have to use tier five to have any sort of chaining chance. Even a little hill like that takes 60k gold. I've been just basically only mining gold all KBK and I'm still down about 40 million. And this is only from about 16, 1700 barbs. So heaven knows where we'll end up by the end. Obviously, we've got two farms. Up. Well, one of the farms is quite full. The other one's pretty empty. We've got a decent stock here. We'll be able to survive this KVK, no problem. Okay, very finally, the season coins. So my plan now is just wait until I can get 180k, buy the ring or the horn, presumably the ring, craft the ring. I now have enough for the ring. Get that on, well, hope it crits. When it doesn't crit, I'll start cursing the world. Probably put it on Zoog. I've got the blueprint for this, then I'll craft this next and hopefully get two conquest coins, which I'm relatively confident I can, and thus get the KVK helm for archers. Then my Zoog set's pretty much done for now. I can go back, uh, work on the Quo set, and then look for the infantry set. So it's all to come, all the excitement to play for. Right, I'm going to sit back, grind some more till next time, my friends. Despair has me. It's been lovely seeing you. Ciao for now.